हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू द वेब एप्लीकेशन पेन टेस्टिंग कोर्स एट पेन टेस्टर अकेडमी नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गो फर्दर इन टू कमांड इंजेक्शन एंड सी वॉट कैन बी डन यूजिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फिल्टर्स सो इन द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वॉट वी हैड सीन इज दैट वी वर एबल टू अपेंड मल्टीपल कमांड्स यूजिंग कोलन of course we could just replace or ban many of these characters so let's say uh if you notice we were using colon and right now we go ahead and replace it with a space so that this can't work and by the way this command injection dot zip contains all these files which i had given you in the previous video uh and let me go back to the demos right here so now here is what i'm going to do i'm going to change this to list hyphen filter.php works perfectly now when i go ahead and append colon and let's say do a ping hyphen c3 google.com you see that nothing happens right even if i run something as simple as pwd nothing really happens right so we have to look at other bypass techniques and this is where the shell has a rich set of characters which one can use and try one of which is the pipe character which is used for going ahead and chaining commands so let's go ahead and use pipe and then let me say pwd and if you notice the command after p after the pipe pwd has now run successfully and we get the output similarly we could go back and actually do our little netcat trick cat hyphen l hyphen b 4444 hyphen e bin bash we notice it waits which is a good sign go back to our terminal connect awesome so now we have a shell on the box right so as you can clearly imagine probably not a good idea for the programmer to try and do this on a trial error basis simply because if you try to do it yourself you would be limited to your understanding of what characters can be used to escape back into the shell and run arbitrary commands now to help with this php basically has a set of apis uh, two of the more popular ones are escape shell arg and escape shell command and as you can clearly see escape shell command even tells you the list of characters it escapes and you know proceeds with a backlash right now the thing is is this good enough and this is really where there have been issues which were discovered off and on with escape shell arg and escape shell command in which it came to light that it was still possible by going ahead and of course finding bugs in the implementation to escape back to the shell so you have been warned and honestly there are even examples today where in certain conditions you could abuse the argument field and do stuff having said that let me actually show you a demo of how it looks like once we use php's functions and this is implemented in list hyphen filter 2.php so here is what i have done i actually use escape shell arg to go ahead and sanitize the path input which was sent to me so let me now try that can go in here put in filter 2 and if you notice nothing happens right pretty much nothing happens we are unable to execute of course the original script would work as is we can try our little colon trick as well but nothing happens right and this is really where 
the function does an absolutely fantastic job in at least removing most of these characters which are worrisome to us. So hopefully this should have given you an idea uh, about command injection, why it's a bad idea to write your own filters and beyond a point honestly, why also not to depend on filters which even ship with the PHP installation. Honestly, shell commands as much as possible using user input should pretty much be avoided, right? Simply because, I mean, it's almost like waiting to be exploited. Uh, either the programmer makes a mistake in the logic in some way, or, uh, you know, as you've seen, it is even possible that vulnerabilities are discovered in the native APIs themselves. So hopefully this section has been fun and educational. I would highly recommend you use the three PHP scripts and try out all these examples yourself. That's all I have in mind for this video. If you're enjoying your time at Pentester Academy, please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.